Hey everyone, what's up? It's Natalie here back with another channel message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. So let's tap into this energy for you guys today. So I was getting a few channel messages for you guys and not everything is going to resonate for everyone. It's just a little bit of mixture of my dreams and you know, some of the downloads that I was getting. Um, oh, by the way, keep in mind that these readings are not supposed to be you know, taken, you know, seriously all the time. Just please put yourself in a situation that resonates with you, okay? Um, also, keep in mind that time is fluid. Uh, gender is fluid over here and all that other good stuff. And if you needed any clarity on your reading, um, you're more than welcome to email me for a personal. However, let's see what's going on with you guys right now. Uh, but however, I wanted to say... Um, it takes only about a week for me to get a, a personal reading out for you guys, okay? So let's see. Um, oh yeah, my channelings. So I had a dream, right? I had a dream I was definitely pregnant in jail. That could mean um, a mixture of things. I was getting something about like, of course, someone had helped me out with that um, in my community board. They had, they had said something about manifesting dreams, but um, someone trying to block the dreams or someone thinking that they can jail something up or lock something up um something that's gonna come regardless right i'm also getting like uh in a karmic sense that could actually be happening to somebody physically um because i remember in my dream i was being rounded up like like i i knew i did something wrong you know i knew i was being punished for it but i tried to use my pregnancy as a you know a way to get out of it and nobody was listening to me nobody even cared so i was like oh okay um guess i'm stuck here forever um, good thing that was a dream and also good thing that I'm not pregnant, but, um, basically that was the energy of the re of the, um, the dream. I was also getting something like, um, I'm hearing the phrase kill them with kindness and, and, um, how dangerous that can be, right? I know it's great to kill people with kindness. I know how to kill people with kindness. It's a really good weapon to use when dealing with your enemies but something about that energy lets me know that if you have to kill people with your kindness you probably don't want to be around those people because that means those people don't like when you're happy they don't like when you're kind so it's giving me energy like um those people are going to have to be cut out of your life i know you can you know you could play you could play with them as long as they're playing with you but um, something out here is going to happen to this person or you're going to be called to do something to get rid of this person or this person is just going to end up going crazy because you're literally killing them with your kindness, okay? Let me get a card, please, from the ancestors. Okay, yeah, I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine with, with the accessing the divine within. Yeah, and then we have this Octorian light codes out here, evolutionary downloads, recalling power and future thinking. I'm hearing Aquarius with this. You guys are definitely leaders, okay? Not followers. Um, people could be a little bit threatened by this. And then they're a little bit threatened by your presence. It's very, it's like your light is blinding them type of energy. It's like your kindness literally blinds them. Your light blinds them. Your leadership, your, vic your victory blinds them, okay? We have Akashic Records out here. Uh, clearing old stories, releasing past lives and freedom. Voice activation, halls of learning. Something about the way that you speak is starting to break off generational curses. Um, it's starting to like, um, what was that? What was that behind? Yeah, it's starting to like clear old stories. Something about the narrative of your life. You're being called to do something else. Okay, so maybe someone here, out here is trying to do word magic to project um, energy upon your life. That's not true or it's not true anymore. Okay, let's see. You could be like seeing lights or getting these weird migraines or getting these weird headaches, but mostly lights like within your peripheral, like in your vision. Okay, let's, let me get one card, please, for the collective. In this reading. Yeah, it's like your presence. Like your presence is like... You can't even hide. Like, if you are hiding right now, you're hiding in your home. You're not out there. It's like, if you go out in the public, you can't even hide in the public. It's like people are just drawn to your energy. And it's a little bit um, uncomfortable. We'll say that. Okay, let's see. What's the energy, please, for this reading? Hmm. 
We have castle. It's time for healing, not war. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a, a fight out here. A certain battle out here. Spirit is going to be taken care of for you. Every hurricane comes to an end. It's more like a storm. Yeah, let them go. You've earned all your stripes. Start a revolution. Yeah. I'm hearing something out here is going to be groundbreaking. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I got to actually look out for whatever that word means or that phrase means. But definitely something out here is groundbreaking. It's like something is... Whatever you guys are doing right now is definitely groundbreaking. It's like it, it can't be... It can't be fixed. After you do this, it can't, it can't go back to the way it used to be, basically. And it's time for healing, not war. Yeah, you've definitely been through some sort of challenging times. Or you embraced your, your, your challenging times. So you know who you are now. Okay? And all this root chakra energy keeps coming out for like the past week now. So it's like, it's definitely knowing who you are. Tapping into any insecurities that you have and healing it. Someone else out here is not grounded in that energy. They're not... um okay with themselves I feel like uh, when you come around people they get sort of intimidated because of your leadership they feel like you're going to start bossing people around but that's not your personality at all it's time for healing not war and I feel like you you're no you know that yeah shine out here it's like yeah shine with challenging times it, whoever put you through these challenging times or whatever challenging times were out here for you guys it did nothing but help you shine even more i'm getting like a lot of celebrity energy you guys could be a celebrity in a sense it's like you guys can't be hidden i'm getting like a, a lot of leo rising if you have leo rising out here you guys also know yourself so you're able to choose your battles you're not here to fight with everybody okay save it for the spiritual war Okay, and even in a spiritual war, you're still called to do more healing than war, okay? All right, let's start with this reading. Oh, you know what? Let's pull a couple of these out. All right, so, yeah, we have childhood trauma out here. So you guys fixed a lot of your childhood trauma also. Or someone out here acts a certain way towards you because of their childhood trauma. Yeah, you did a lot of rebirth. You transformed, okay? What is the energy for this reading? Holy Spirit and angels. I'm also getting like you're showing people how to do this. All right, let's see. Energy for this reading. Eighth house. All right, let's see what else, please, for this reading. We have returned to sender 444. We have eighth house out here. This represents the sex, intimacy, inheritance, taxes, property, and mystery. Things going on behind the scenes when it comes to money or infidelity is what I'm getting. Yeah, Scorpio, death, obsession, and transform. Okay. We also have happy marriage. We have heartbreaker. And then we have mature woman, empress energy. This is your guys' energy. Let me get two more. Or this is an, uh, uh, a mature feminine's energy. Let me get two more, please, for the collective in this reading. Good intentions. How people see you. People see you guys with good intentions, okay? Hmm. And then we have the 11th house out here. Hopes, wishes, groups, friends, and technology. Yeah. You are able to lead the collective. Yeah, with a new baby or creation, or there is some sort of new creation out here. Um, yeah, you guys started, like, you guys did something so other people wouldn't have to do it, or you did something to show people how to do it. You were also the one that was being attacked with a lot of black magic, too. Um, I'm hearing, like, you literally hurt people with your happiness. You hurt people with your good intentions. I don't know how you're doing that. But that's what I'm getting out here. I'm getting like something about a group of people too. Uh, there's a bunch of people out here that see your good intentions. I'm also getting like a happy marriage out here for you guys. So if there's any sort of like a hidden eighth house energy where like um, could be a Scorpio involved. Some sort of obsession out here. It's returning to sender. And I feel like if you're in a relationship, your relationship is like clear. Um... It's able to revive itself is what I'm getting out here, okay? <sighs> Queen of Pentacles in the reverse out here with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. By the way, I'm using the Magic Seers deck uh, from Amazon. It looks like this. 
okay it's a pretty basic deck i like it because it has no borders on it there's no borders on these cards at all so i'm gonna get used to using these and so if you like to purchase this deck from amazon it's the magic sears deck borderless look up the borderless one if you want the exact one i have all right let's see what's going on with this reading holy spirit and angels Hmm. Let's see what's going on with this reading. Holy Spirit and angels for the collective. Six of Cups out here. Soulmate energy also representing children. Three of Pentacles out here with the Ace of Swords. I'm getting energy like um your old friends are coming back to work with you or someone's friends. I'm getting like your past life friends. You're connecting with people from your past life or something like that. Or you're coming together co-parenting with children or co-parenting because you have children. Someone out here is jealous of this. Okay, let's move forward. This reading. So, yeah, okay, so we have the Seven of Swords out here in the Page of Cups. Okay. And the Five of Pentacles. Someone out here may want to apologize to you and be sneak. They want to be sneaky and apologize to you because they realize that they don't have anything or like they're out in the cold. This could be a friend for some of you guys. Yeah, it's like they're watching you. They're out in the cold watching you. Okay. Um, they feel abandoned. They feel like they don't have something that you have. And if they feel like you also escaped something too, they may come to love bomb you. I feel like if they come towards you to love bomb you, um, they're hoping that you don't have some sort of intuition about how, who they truly are. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. No resting. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of, it's something about money with this person. They're restless about it right now. Oh, well. Yeah. Ten of Swords out here. Queen of Swords. I'm going to leave it out. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone out here failed at something. I'm also getting something about word magic. Someone was lying or being bitter um, trying to put a bunch of knives in your back, it's not working. Or this person definitely feels betrayed because they haven't been... Whatever has been sent out to you is definitely been sent back to them. And they realize that something out here is failing. I'm also getting like someone out here tried to use children against you. So this could be like in-laws playing around with your children. Or playing around with like your energy, like your caring and nice good... In your energy that is nothing but good intentions, Okay. Get more, please, for this reading. Like, you have nothing but good intentions for people, even people that hurt you, or even people that are fake towards you. I'm getting energy because you feel bad for them. That's really the reason why. But, like I said before, if people like they feel devastated, like it ruins their entire day when you're happy, you don't want to be around those people. I know it's fun to, like, uh, you know, see them be the queen of swords in reverse, become mentally unstable. Because I mean, I mean, it is funny because honestly, honestly, like, uh, what is going on in your life to where you're upset that other people are happy? Like, but we have the king of pentacles out here with the page of cups. Someone out here wants to be loyal to you or they want to express some sort of emotion to you. And someone out here hates that. They don't, this person's a hater. That something failed here. And there's children involved. All right, give me more energy, please, for this reading. Queen of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get one more. Let me get one more, please, for the collective in this reading. It's your caring nature that they can't stand. They can't. They hate this. Yeah, the Page of Swords in the reverse. Just such a hater. They're going through a lot of endings, too. Page of Wands. Immature energy, but they want to send you some sort of message. This person... It's trying to find a way into your energy. This could be a friend or family member or like literally this could be someone attached to your masculine. This person is definitely spying on you. Literally, you're not doing anything but being the queen of cups out here. So it's like it's making this person go crazy. They're literally going crazy like with your energy. You got all this light around you. It's like literally breaking their heart that you're so kind and loving and that this person has feelings for you. And like they can't rest, they can't stand that, or they can't... I don't know, what the heck is wrong with this person? Yeah, someone out here is definitely heartbroken out here. Could be a third party. 
clarify this uh, Six of Cups out here. Something about memories is very important. Yeah. Clarify the uh, Six of Cups, please. Yeah, the Two of Cups. You're coming together with somebody out here. There's a connection that you you guys, it's like the, there's clear skies around your guys' relationship. Whoever that you guys are connected to, it could simply be a friend. We have the Three of Cups out here and the Page of Cups. It's like, and the six of six of wands it's going by smoothly and everyone could see this two of cups for the collective in this reading page of wands in reverse but it's bad news for somebody else wow people need to get a life ace or we have the eight of swords out here and the three of pentacles in the verse with the magician in the reverse people aren't working with this person anymore if they were before you were able to balance out any sort of dark magic that they were sending your way or any sort of manipulation that they were sending your way when it came to you being in a um, a connection with this person. I'm also getting like this person like try to break your heart or something, try to involve other people in your relationship. But it, whoever, okay, whoever, not only are they, you know, it's getting returned to them, it's getting returned to the people that were working around them too. So, clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for the collective. This person is still at it. Seven of Swords, Temperance out here. Yeah, like I said, be careful. You can kill them with kindness, but this person is not going to stop. They're not going to change just because you're kind. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. They're waiting for you to be vulnerable. They're waiting for you to be in that energy. They're waiting for you to not pay attention to something. Something about peace. Something about peace is out here. Like the fact that you're very peaceful. They don't like that. They feel it as vulnerability. Wait, clarify the temperance out here. It looks like they just don't like it. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, the Hierophant. It's nothing but forgiveness out here. So the fact that you're forgiving this person or you're nice or you're... Uh, yeah, Page of Swords. Something about a lie. Moon card. And the Queen of Wands. That's nothing but magic right there. You're able to alchemize this magic though. You turned it... You definitely returned all this to sender. So I guess this person was banking on you being angry or banking on you being like defensive. You're not even defensive. Like you would let this person in your home. But the fact that, like, like I said before, you just got to be careful with that. You know, it's not going to change someone because you're constantly kind to them. You're kind to them because you have nothing to worry about in your life. You have your life together. Um, you're, li you're literally just happy. But this person hates that. Clarify the page of cups. Nine of cups in the reverse. Page of cups. I'm getting a selfish energy. Page of Cups. Yeah, a real selfish energy out here. Someone out here that's really greedy. Doing things for their own, uh, like, for their own good. It's because they see that you guys are happy. And I'm saying you guys because I feel like you're in a connection with somebody. Someone out here wants to be a third party. Okay, so we have the Sun out here, Strength and Reverse, Tower, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they can't beat your happiness. They can't beat you if you're happy. Like, it definitely puts a wall around you. Mm -hmm. All right. Clarify the Four of Swords in reverse. This person is, like, restless. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Missed out on the Blessing. Two of Swords in reverse with the Devil. Someone also sees who this person is, too. They know that this person is a bully. Then we have the uh, Ace of Cups out here with the Hermit in reverse. They're not, like... They're not going to be sitting here wondering if this person is good or not. They know that this person is a bad person. They know that this person is a bad person. Uh, clarify the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is missing out on money or finances or a new blessing in their life. They don't get blessings because they don't know how to sit down somewhere. Yeah, the Five of Cups in the reverse. Also, I'm getting like, yeah, like I said before, someone was banking off of your emotional stability to be unstable. 
yeah, they want you to be emotionally unstable, mentally unstable out here. So they got caught stealing or taking something or copying or stealing someone's energy. Yeah, I feel like you pretty much know what's going on or this mask knows exactly what's going on too. Yeah. This person really hates that you're emotionally stable. Not even really like physically. They know that you're physically stable because we have the King of Pentacles out here. You have money. But now they're they're upset because see this person was is like the type of person to say okay so you have money that doesn't mean you're happy that's not true for you <laughs> that's not true for you you have money and you're happy so that's how this person may feel like when and when they have money because i feel like they're really greedy and ungrateful okay their intentions are coming off like okay let's be friends or this person may like smile in your face or something like that but they really hate it Hate the fact that you're happy. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Give me another one. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's no more illusions out here. You can't confuse anybody anymore. Um, and that's what they banked off of. They banked off of you being overwhelmed. Or your person being overwhelmed. Or both of you are overwhelmed. That's what they wanted. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah, justice in the reverse. It was an injustice to do that. So now they're receiving bad karma for this. It's all going back to them. The Magician in the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Word magic. This person was definitely doing word magic over your guys' relationship. <sighs> Trying to keep you... In the past or something like that. It's a test. Is basically what I'm getting. Like they're constantly trying to test you. Clarify the Ace of Wands in the reverse please. For the collective. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Clarify the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're, they're stuck. They're trapped. They didn't think this through. They didn't think any of this through. Yeah, Ace of Swords. That's the truth with the Page of Cups, with the King of Wands. Um, also getting like this King of Wands wanted. This King of Wands wants you and he sort of expressed this. This person knows this. Okay, for sure. Now they're, now they're afraid to move forward. They're afraid to like start something else. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Not only... Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles out here with the Queen of Cups out here. So, these aren't counterparts, but let me tell you why they go together. I'm going to tell you why they go together. Because this is how this happiness hater... We're going to call them a happiness hater because they hate people being happy. This might not be a counterpart, right? But they go together for a specific reason. This person is focused on being emotionally balanced. This person is just focused on making sure that the house is together. So as long as you both are doing this, then you have a good relationship. And that's what this person sees. And they're trying to speak bad about it. They're trying to like uh, project energy onto it. The Queen of Cups came out again with the King of Pentacles out here. So this person is realizing that the reason why their missions are failing or whatever that they're trying to project onto you guys is not working because you are emotionally balanced and the King of Pentacles is financially responsible, um, a father figure, loyal. Um, he's not going anywhere, basically. And that's what this person hates. Tell me more about that. Uh, King of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords energy. So this person tried to have this King of Pentacles provide for them and them only. Yeah, so this person tried to like, they know that this King of Pentacles energy is, is very um, stable, right? They, they, they're just stable minded too. It's like they, they're really, uh, they're a provider. Clarify the King of Pentacles. It's who they provide for is what's making this person mad. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Empress. <laughs> they want to provide for the Empress. They already have their person that they that they have a mind that they want to be with. It's the word magic again. Someone out here is projecting words off onto a relationship 
or trying to get into a person's mind. But if you're a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, man, nobody can really get in your mind. Okay, judgment out here. There's already a judgment call being made. Clarify the Queen of Swords in the reverse, please. Yeah, definitely doing word magic upon this relationship. Nothing but bitterness, okay? All right, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords in the reverse. Four of Swords. Why the Six of Swords in the reverse out here? Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they want someone out here to feel rejected. Yeah, and they're doing things behind the scenes. Like I said, they're saying things behind the scenes. But it's only making this uh, masculine energy want to come towards you even more. They're getting rejected out here, though, because due to an offer. And I'm also getting like this person feels like they cannot move forward. They're going to always be stuck in the Five of Swords energy. It's like this person is not mentally at peace with uh, someone out here moving on and giving someone an offer. Clarify the King of Pentacles. So... Yeah, clarify the King of Pentacles, please. For the collective, the death card out here, nine of swords in the verse and the five of swords in the verse. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of Cups, again, with the four of wands. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have the King of Cups in the verse with the Wheel of Fortune out here in the reverse. So it's letting me know that, yeah, I'm on track here. Okay. So it's letting me know that this uh, King of Pentacles out here, he's not having any anxiety. He doesn't care what this person says. The word magic is definitely not working on him. He's already transformed here and it's all being sent back. It's being sent back to whoever's been spreading this. Whoever is uh, unhappy with themselves, um, they just want to like make it seem like you're unhappy. But you returned it to sender by merely killing them with kindness. And I feel like this person is going crazy because you're happy. Yeah, it was an empty victory with this person to make anyone stressed out or worry or anything like that. And I feel like also this King of Pentacles energy is not stressed out or worried about anything neither. So Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, please, for the collective. Queen of Cups, please, for the collective in this reading. Three of Pentacles in the reverse with the... Yeah, this person loves the Queen of Cups. They're intrigued by the Queen of Cups. They're leaving people behind. They're out of some sort of collaboration, too. They don't want to work with certain people right now. We have the Moon card out here and the uh, Two of Swords. What, what I'm seeing right now is that this person isn't making it known, really. I mean, they're taking action. They're not really speaking upon it. They're just taking action. They're just going to do it. Um... They're not telling anyone around them. So people aren't seeing this coming. Whatever move, whatever situation is here. Yeah, it's time for healing, not war. Maybe they wanted you guys to fight. Okay, maybe they wanted the couple to fight together or something like that. But that's not working. That's not working. You guys are focused on two different things right now. You're not focused on attacking each other. You're focusing on your happiness and they're focusing on their stability, fixing their credit taking care of their children, becoming committed and loyal, going to work every day, and it's starting to make people mad. We have the devil out here in the verse with the eight of pentacles out here and the five of wands with the chariot in the reverse. There was a bunch of people out here trying to um, cause, you know, disturbances and blockages and causing a lot of drama, but I feel like there's a peaceful relationship out here. Yeah, they wanted someone out here to break your heart or something like that, involve other people. That's not even working. This person is extremely loyal to their empress. I don't even see a queen of pentacles out here. I see an empress and a queen of cups. It's like they're in love with this person out here. They're in love with this person that's able to manifest. They're in love with their child's mother or they're in love with their mother or something like that. Whoever is the nice, kind-hearted one, that's who they're going towards and working with. Clarify the uh, page of swords in the reverse. Page of Swords in the reverse, Holy Spirit and Angels. We have the Three of Wands in the reverse with the Star. Why the Three of Wands in the reverse with the Star? So 
it looks like whatever someone was waiting for, it's not coming in due to someone out here healing something. Yeah, it's like um, the emperor out here with the hangman out here. So maybe together, yeah, five of wands. It's going to cause a lot of fights. So maybe together, like these people had some sort of plan, but that plan is not going to be falling through. They're not going to be getting whatever they thought that they were going to get. Whatever they're anticipating for, they're not getting it. Um, clarify that star again. Because this emperor out here is starting to make decisions. He's seeing things a little bit differently now. He's he's moving a little bit differently. Um, he's inspired. He's not going to be sitting there waiting for something. He's just going to be moving forward. Where for the star? Yeah, the knight of wands rushing forward. Okay, ten of pentacles. Just something committed. Yeah, um, some sort of devil energy is going to get exposed to... Someone is going to continuously try to attack your happiness or your emotional balance. It's like, just stay on guard with this person. There's a third party out here just like, he or she's a happiness hater. Happiness hater. Projecting word magic on you and your life and your relationship. Just saying whatever. So be careful not to let this person's words get to you. It's like you're, you combat with kindness. They combat with words. And the most immature one is the one that's combating with words. Because they're literally just hating right now. Find the lesson. A moment's regret. Yeah, someone out here regrets uh, doing this, by the way. But they wanted to be queen. <laughs> so they attacked you. I don't know if they're learning their lessons, but definitely uh, they're forced to look at themselves. Grounding, returning to reality, and coming home. Yeah, the reality is is that they're unhappy, trying to please everyone. Yeah. Um, promises that never come to be. Empty words, not living in the now. Impossible, falling. Yeah, I'm also getting like they tried to hold someone up to a certain standard to take care of them. That's also another thing that I was getting. Like this person could be very greedy and they don't want to provide for someone that's really greedy they rather provide for someone that doesn't expect a lot of out of them. You know what I mean? It's like this person was definitely like trying to get energy out of this person, a little bit too much energy out of them. And that's what exposed them also. It was like, okay, I know what you're on. I know what you're doing. Um, so I'd rather go be with someone else or be with this person that's not so greedy. They're more loving. Okay, so we have one in a million out here with mental prison. We also have sociopath lies too easily. Then we have forged your name. Someone out here pretended to be you or like literally put something on your name that wasn't there. Let me get a couple more. Then I'll close this reading out. Yep. Karmic woman out here. Definitely a hater. Karmic woman. Keep winning. And then we have clout chaser. Yeah, this person is a clout chaser. They're going to continue. They might try to be your friend too. Controlling the masses. Yeah, you're a leader out here. So this is your guys' reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.